Look, Kev, we got to get to the meat of the matter. The all meat right, we covered the all the light stuff, and we covered the fluff. Now we got to get to now, the important stuff. I, and, and I'm going to attack Republicans and Democrats and any form of politician that is even, even thinking about this crap. Now, folks, I don't know if you know this or not, but our country has a few things going on. We've got, we're got we involved in two major engagements in Afghanistan and Iraq, plus we have people in Korea, we have people in Germany. We, we have, mili- militarily, we're kind of spread across the board. And we're dealing with homeland security, we're dealing with immigration, we're dealing with taxes, we're dealing with falling you know, economic indicators. But hey, don't we have time to take care of of our friggin' baseball players who inject themselves with HGH. I, dude, I've been doing HGH for years. <coughs> that that they could take time from that to take care of millionaire babies. Are you friggin' serious? Who gives You can it? say fucking serious, dude. I already dropped one. Or did oh, I? Yeah, well, you, I, I, you curse you all the time. You're fucking serious. Be fucking serious, man. <laughs> are you serious that, they, that this, our elected public officials have to take time out of their schedule. I'm not going to say busy schedule because I don't think that exists on Capitol Hill. But they're taking time out of their schedule when, in which they could be voting me, you know, pay raises within the military because I work really hard. Or, you know, granting you guys tax tax cuts or... Passing a new GI Bill. Fixing fixing the, the roads that are falling down in Minnesota. Immigration reform. Immigration reform. A whole plethora of... Of a cornucopia <laughs> of valuable policy things you could be working on. And you worried whether or not Roger Clemens, Roger Clemens Andy Pettit, takes these guys in the butt. In, injected themselves. And this Not themselves. They had designated oh, yeah. injectors. The, the injector they like that to have someone else inject them. McNamee, which nobody <laughs> ever possibly. Maybe, you know, maybe Roger Clemens never thought he got injected with HGH or steroids. And maybe McNamee's straight saying, hey, hey. I injected him anyway in order to increase his results so I can have a better job and get more pay. Is that possible? Have we figured that one out? Folks? Okay, it's possible, but that's not what happened. Roger Clemens bullshit. used HGH, Andy Pettit. They knew they oh, did whatever. it. whatever. It's bullshit. And then, oh, Arlen Specter. No, what's bullshit? Hey, Arlen Specter, how about this? It. You're a senator. <laughs> Take care of your people. Fuck what's going on with the Patriots. What? Pittsburgh <laughs> didn't win the fucking Super Bowl? It... Really, seriously. Oh, I just said fuck. <laughs> I, I'm willing to let the fact that the Patriots cheated go because they didn't have a perfect season. Like, who cares? Oh. You know that? I care. Mainly because it you raises know, your blood pressure. Shit. <laughs> you know, fine. You know, why don't you just like, cheer against the U.S. Army or maybe the... Oh, Christ, I gotta them. love the cheating Patriots well, yeah. just because their name's the Patriots. Oh, if, if, the Army che- if, if the military cheats, you're gonna say, oh, they cheated, fucking stop, give back the land. No, you're not. That was one of the dumbest analogies I've ever heard in my entire life. I can name some things in which we've cheated. <laughs> and I'm fine with that. All right. I said I'd let that it's go. Sports is retarded. Just let it go. All right. Let's get back to should Arlen Specter be concerned no, he with should the not. Patriots. Who or, cares? And the only reason, the only justification is that both the NFL and Major League Baseball have antitrust exemptions well, so that they can cheat their players out of the money they're due and money pad the pockets due? of the oh, rich owners. God. Those poor and owners are barely making any money. Those, Those poor owners. <laughs> <laughs> They're living on scraps. <laughs> Daniel Snyder had to park two of his jets last month. <laughs> I mean, he might have. Oh, there's repair on those, you know. He's got asshole offsets he's got to pay for. <laughs> to Al Gore. Yeah, he's got to pay Al Gore for those asshole offsets. Thank you, Al. By the way, I've noticed the uh, global warming. It's Dude, working wonderfully here. I guess it's back beach, on. Beach Our global property. warming was off for a while. Yeah. Yeah, about the, a the month best, there. The Every year they turn our global warming off in January and no, February. No, no, no. <laughs> best thing is when there's anything goes on in the climate, it's global warming. It gets cold, it's global warming. Weird, crazy winter, you know, climate changes. It gets cold in January and February. Global warming. I've, I've noticed it now. Now that Al Gore has what? passed his PowerPoint and got himself a Grammy and an Oscar, I am aware that everything we do... Barack Obama got a Grammy. Did he? For spoken word. Dude, he should. He spoke fuck, very well. It's, it's, <laughs> he is quite a spoker. That's great. I heard him spoke it's, last oh, night. Jesus. He spoke at length Lord, and he spoke beautifully. Seriously, just stop. <laughs> His spokesmanship oh spoke volumes to my heart. He inspired and elevated me. Mother of God. I, I elevated myself above the floor of the coal center. Oh, but lifted solely and on the words of Barack Hussein if, Obama. If but if my I'm gonna tell you. I'm right gonna now. stop with the Hussein, because I'm just joking. I don't give a shit. If, <laughs> If, my, if, if Huckabee wins wins the nomination, I'm voting for Barack. Huckabee or will be Clinton here tomorrow. 
That eleven o'clock the concourse. Dude, eleven o'clock the concourse. You're coming with me. I can't. Fuck you. I'm eleven o'clock. You don't do anything before eleven. Sometimes. Never. Well, One gonna... time you knocked on my door because I... you were heartbroken at like nine a.m. I might be. <laughs> no. I don't. No, I might be. Shh. Well, I might be doing that. Whatever. Be I as mean... heartbroken as you want. Well, it's not really heartbroken. It's the opposite of heartbroken. <laughs> All, All right, right that unexpected think, interlude will probably be edited out, but probably not because I'm lazy. Because we don't want to. I think and the point Kev wanted to make that got lost in the rest of this Shiite what was, was that Congress should have better things to do than investigate baseball or football to see who's juiced. All right, who gives a shit? I mean, really, seriously, I want, if, if, if I had my way, I want my baseball players juiced. I want my football players juiced. I want a, a six foot seven. 380 pound defensive end running a 2440, willing to tear the face off a child to kill a quarterback. Sorry. As long as he's playing for the Green Bay Football Packers. But hey, that's just me, folks. I could be wrong. You're not Dennis Miller. We got to get out. Jim, you ignorant slut. I'm an ignorant, misguided slut. All, All right. right, well, hey, this has been a while since we did a free fly. This is a pretty wild one, but hey, enjoy. Yeah, you get what you pay for. <laughs> we don't have any sponsors right now. Uh, and I don't think we'll we've get got any. No, we've got them lined one. up. I think there's maybe Maxim Magazine, dude. I would. I'm, I'm sexy. Penthouse? I'm pretty. All right. Anyway. No, we're not posing for pictures. That's why we're so far back from this yeah, HD camera. <laughs> My fat head. Right on. All right, well, folks. This guy uh, qualifies as the first free fly in a while, and hopefully we can keep our shit together and make it not the last. Hey, have a good weekend.